Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. We're here to talk about allergies. Uh, Tis the season. I'm Dr. Melanie McLaren. And I'm the owner of Dragonfly 360 Yoga and Wellness. We're located here in Indianapolis, but off offer virtual yoga as well as naturopathic consults. So I'm a board certified naturopathic doctor, registered yoga teacher, and certified NAET practitioner, which is the allergy treatment we'll be talking about today. And I have a, also a bachelor's of science in engineering. Um, my own healing crisis led me to get into the natural health field. So I had all these chronic issues. Um, one of them was allergies. And I used to live in Southern California and I went to see a naturopathic doctor there and he helped me. So I decided to go back to school um, to change careers. So as I mentioned, we uh, do virtual and in studio and in office with our yoga and appointments. So we have eight certified yoga teachers, an infrared sauna, and then myself. And these are some of the areas that I focus on as far as helping people with chronic health issues. Um, so we'll talk more about the allergies today. So why do people come to see Dragonfly 360, whether it's for yoga or the sauna or naturopathic medicine? Um, a lot of times it's to help with chronic issues, um, allergies, anxiety, digestive issues, um, or to help address a condition which can't be explained. So a lot of times people go to the doctor and they'll say everything is fine, but they don't feel fine. So we look a little bit deeper to find the underlying cause as to why they're out of balance. And then the third reason would be to refine the balance and just feel like themselves again. So what are allergies and where do they come from? We'll talk about that first. And then I will talk about causes of allergies, treating allergies, the um, acupressure treatment, the NAT, and we do have a special offer right now. So what are allergies exactly? And they're not really fully understood medically, but essentially allergies and sensitivities are an inappropriate response by the immune system to a substance that normally would not be harmful, such as tree pollen. You know, it's a beautiful weather outside. Well, this week we had snow, but getting to be spring and we want to be outside enjoying the weather. Um, so we should be able to do that. An allergy is a chronic inflammatory condition. So that means there is other um, issues going on or it's causing inflammation in the body. And medically, the term allergy relates to sensitivity reactions to proteins. So and that's one reason we want to make sure um, you know, our, our digestive system is working properly and helping us break down those proteins in, in foods. So where do allergies come from? Um, it can be a combination of things. Um, some people do have a genetic predisposition, uh, early antibiotics, uh, frequent contact with a substance. So that might be if someone was eating the same food every day, um, or if you lived in a house that had high mold, um, that would be a, a frequent contact with an allergen. Um, deficiencies and excesses. So, you know, deficiency, you could have too much, you know, vitamin D. Um, I'm sorry, not enough vitamin D or not enough vitamin C. Um, you know, excesses, it's possible to have too much of a good thing or maybe heavy metals. Um, leaky gut, um, so loss of tolerance in the gut. Uh, you know, that's a big part of your immune system, but also as food passes through the gut wall, it sets you up for food sensitivities and food allergies. Um, and a lot of times people just have trouble detoxing the, uh, you know, toxins they come into contact with. So we want to pay attention to that. And then toxins or toxic exposures could be another reason. So what causes allergies? Well, allergies are the tip of the iceberg. Um, they're frequently, they're the result of stress. So that stress could be physical, chemical, mental, emotional, energetic, spiritual. Um, as I mentioned, it can be from the detoxification pathways being blocked, but 
we'll talk about this a little bit more, but from a Chinese medicine standpoint, also the energy pathways are blocked. So those are our meridians or energy channels in our bodies. So, and then allergies generate more allergies. And a lot of times that can be just because histamines are high and you're just starting to react to like everything. And this is just a quote from a doctor um, that is basically saying, you don't wanna ignore your allergies. If you don't take time to treat them, you may have issues later. And they have shown that it can cause blood pressure problems and arthritis, other chronic issues. So we don't want that to happen. So we have the body's energy field, and you can also, you know, think about that as your nervous system. Um, so when a potential threat comes into the field, either by just being around it, um, or if you're ingesting it, if it's a food sensitivity or allergy, it's going to activate your body's defense mechanism. And the nervous system is the first thing to be activated. And then it stimulates a stress response. And then that mobilizes your immune system. So there's a lot of things that happen before the immune system is even activated. So where we want to work on is stopping that nervous system from being activated so that it stimulates the stress response and the immune system. This slide is basically just saying if you continue to be exposed to allergens, you're creating chronic stress in the body. And that will deplete your energy over time and cause leaky gut. Um, so in this picture is, you know, talking a lot about adrenals or low stress glands. So what is NAT? It's an acronym that stands for Nambudrapod's Allergy Elimination Technique. And it was developed by Dr. Nambudrapod um, in the 80s, 1980s. And it's been practiced by over 12,000 practitioners worldwide. As I mentioned, it's largely based on Chinese medicine. And the website is NAT.com if you'd like to read some of the studies. But basically, Dr. Nambudrapod also had allergies. And she basically could only eat like two foods at the time she developed this technique and started studying more Chinese medicine. Um, and realized that it was really helping her um, allergies when she was holding an allergen and getting an acupuncture treatment. So then she put this together and there are studies on the website that show, you know, not only just um, food sensitivities and environmental allergies, but food allergies that can help and anaphylaxis as well. So the, the two main principles of the treatment of NAT is a strong muscle cannot maintain contraction in a state of stress. So basically what that's saying is if the allergen is in your body's energy field or you're holding it, your muscle is gonna be weak and that's muscle testing, which again, you'll see in a minute, minute here um, how, this is, how this works. And then the second one is any stressor, um, in other words, the allergen is going to produce a state of stress um, in the body. So those are the two main principles. And then the muscle testing that I mentioned um, is going to tell us what the body is sensitive to. So again, if you're holding it, your muscle is going to be weak if you have a problem with it. And then we can also tell from muscle testing what acupuncture meridians are blocked and that what organs that can be affected. So that's just helpful more if we don't know exactly what someone is reacting to. Um, so it would tell us um, a little bit more example, if the large intestine is impacted, then we know it's probably more um, food related versus um, you know dust or tree pollen. And then we can also tell from muscle testing when the allergen has been uh, treated or desensitized. So how does it do it exactly? Um, it's stimulating acupressure points. So again, no needles. Um, and then there are two sets of points along the spine as well that are um, stimulated. And those are, you know, 
also a set of acupressure points that help remove any blockages in those Chinese meridians. So it's balancing the nervous system and then it's removing the blockages in the meridians that's causing the nervous system to be stimulated. So now I will share a video that our, actually our, the, one of the, the practitioners in the UK did for us. Um, so hear a little bit of ac accent there, but we'll go ahead and share that with you so you can actually see a demonstration of how this works. NAET is a revolutionary technique used for the treatment of allergies to restore health. NAET can treat allergies from those found in foods, chemicals, medications, right through to environmental allergens. It's also been seen to restore good quality of life in other health issues, such as fatigue, a curvature of the spine, or alopecia. Allergies can cause headaches, breathing problems, indigestion, bloating, fatigue, aggression, depression, and anger. In fact, any symptom anywhere in the body. Allergies can also affect us on many different levels, physical, nutritional, or emotional levels. The technique was invented by leading chiropractor and MD, Dr. D.V. Nambudripad, who has studied both Western and Eastern medicine extensively. Thanks to this amazing discovery and subsequent research, we can now rebalance the body and reduce allergies. An allergy is an inappropriate response to an item. It could even be the fabrics we wear or the washing powder. The brain perceives the item as a threat and tells the body to react against it, creating an inappropriate immune response. NAET rebalances that inappropriate response. The process involves re-educating the brain, teaching it not to perceive the item as an allergy, to no longer see the item as a threat. Therefore, the brain does not instruct the body to mount an immune response. We do this by rebalancing the body using chiropractic and acupressure procedures based on oriental medicine in the presence of the allergen. When the body perceives an item to be an allergen, blockages in the meridian system occur. It is these blockages that create the symptoms. NAET removes blockages in the meridian system created by an allergen. The meridians are understood in oriental medicine to be like rivers of energy flowing through the body. The Chinese have inferred their existence based on clinical experience and used them as the basis of treatment for thousands of years. For example, a person whose allergy to chocolate causes a blockage in the liver meridian gets a headache, or the stomach meridian gets a stomach ache, or in the kidney meridian gets a rash, and in the large intestine meridian gets diarrhea. The person whose allergy causes blockages in many meridians at once gets severe fatigue. The number of blockages determines the severity of the symptoms, but the underlying mechanism is the same. Allergies cause blockages in the meridian system, and this, in turn, causes symptoms. NAET testing determines which meridians are blocked by a particular allergen. Then we can remove that blockage using a chiropractic technique, NAET. This involves putting pressure on certain points along the spine and on the arms and legs. Once the blockage is removed and energy is allowed to flow freely through the meridians again, the patient no longer has a symptom with that allergen. By removing interference to the flow of energy through the meridians, we're removing interference to health and the body naturally brings itself back into balance once again. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so get back here to our presentation. So um, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense about how it works or the process, um, but really just stopping that 
response from the nervous system so it doesn't trigger your immune system. So following the treatment, we want to avoid for a day. Um, that comes from, there's, it takes two hours for the energy to run through each meridian and there's 12 meridians. Um, so we wanna make sure you get past that. So that's the 25 hours. Um, and in most cases, food sensitivities can be consumed the next day. So that would be your IgG or IgA antibodies. Um, and for anaphylaxis, immediate food allergies, a little bit different. It's a different protocol. It takes a little bit longer, but it can work with those. And I never would tell someone to go eat or consume those foods without first being tested, um, meaning blood tested or allergy tested, like scratch tested. Um, so we do retest those. And I should say, if someone comes to see me and I feel like there is an immediate food allergy, I do insist on doing labs, which I can order. They can go to their allergist um, to make sure we know what immediate foods we're dealing with. And then as far as how long the treatment will last, I mean, I would say as long as we're taking care of everything physically too. So you know, some of the things listed here, um, deficiency. So if you have a really, you know, big vitamin D deficient deficiency, we want to make sure we're taking care of that. Um, leaky gut, you know, your microbiome is pretty balanced. Um, you know, we, we make sure we take care of that as well for you. Um, then it should hold. Um, so I would say like most people, they do really well, you know, with the treatments could be forever. Um, sometimes people might come back if they have like spring allergies, they might come back in January just to check like their worst one, like the tree pollen and just do a treatment, but, um, not always. Um, so it, it, for the most part will hold. And then what else might be necessary nutritional? So I kind of touched on that. I'm just making sure we're taking care of everything there. Um, as far as nutritionally, um, you know, the example I give is if someone comes to see me and they're, um, eating McDonald's every day and they're not willing to change that, you know, the treatments might not hold. So we want to make sure, you know, eating as healthy as we can, um, and managing our stress. And then sometimes I'll use some homeopathic remedies just to, um, help get the body back into balance as well. And then how long it will take. I mean, sometimes it matters on how long you've had the problem. Not always, but we're trying to get to the underlying cause. So, you know, the good news is once we've got you balanced and um, found the underlying cause and treated your allergies, then, you know, you don't have to come back. Um, you know, we're trying to fix the problem. And how can the treatment benefit you? Um, just you know, besides reducing your symptoms, your overall well-being, you know, more energy, uh, lower stress. I've seen people just sleep better, uh, focus is better, you know, mood can be better um, by lowering that inflammatory response. And then because we are treating at the DNA level, um, there is the possibility you're going to reduce uh, you know, if you had children, that they would be less likely to have allergies. So that's pretty cool. So just a couple um, testimonials from people that have done the treatments with me. Um, this particular person had a really, uh, a lot of trouble with dairy, like cow's milk. Um, so she could never eat it without getting some respiratory issues. So we were able to help her with that. Um, and she also makes the point that there's articles on the treatment uh, in psychology today, as well as on the NAAP website. And then another person who was a singer and she would lose her voice or get scratchy with the allergies. And so she called me her voice whisperer, but um, it would clear her voice for her so she could sing. <laughs> So this is just the pricing, uh, initial consultation, $180. Um, if you're coming for the allergies, typically we can get a treatment in as part of that too. And then individual treatments are $65. Um, lab review, if you need it, is $120. 
And then a couple of books from Dr. Nambudrapod. I would say the Say Goodbye to Allergies, you know, would be the one that I usually recommend first that just explains a little bit more that's written by her. So if you have more interest, you can find that probably on Amazon um, and pick that up. And then we just have a couple of specials going on till the end of April um, with the allergy session. So buy two, get one half off buy five, get one free, and they're, you know, valid for 120 days, so. And this is where we're located at here in Nora. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and then there's our contact details. Our website is dragonfly360.net. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please reach out to us. Thank you.